Hi guys, I'm the person on the screen that's sat here right now on your screen. We're going to be making some metal heart art. Um, that doesn't sound right to say. I don't know, I've kind of just been feeling like... And if you feel like that too, then honestly, I'm going to show you how you make this art. It's dead simple, it's so easy, and it only takes a few steps. <laughs> the problem is, this is the second time me recording this because I filmed me, but I forgot to film or screen record my screen. So I'm screen recording now. Okay, so test two. Let's see if we can get it right this time. Um, I'm just gonna hide the ones that I already made, just to quickly show you guys um, how to make them, and then I'm gonna get onto the composition kind of parts. But let's see. So honestly, it's this simple. First, go into Edit, Preferences, type in here. So it's gonna show up like this first. Type in here, Extra, and then just make sure that you have um, extra mesh and extra curve. Um, I think it's only extra mesh, but you know, have extra of everything, I suppose. It's all inbuilt with Blender. You go Shift A, go Shift A. So I'm going to do this with a Taurus object because let's do a Super Taurus. Right? What the hell is that? Okay, let's not do that. Let's do. Not. Okay, and now it is literally a case of, I guess you could subdivide it. Let's apply this, and now that's literally just a case of displacing it and deforming it, and all of those are kind of just done by your own, you know, internal voice that tells you what's right and what's not right, I guess. But yeah, so I've added a displace, uh, just go down here to the textures. Again, I've already done this, so I'm just showing you guys, um, yes, okay. Okay, so the first texture is this, then I'm going to go back into modifiers, add another display, and give it the other texture that I made, which is the spiky one. Um, That definitely looks interesting, but not for what I'm trying to do. And this is almost it. Afterwards, all you really need to do is, rather what I do is I add a simple deform. Okay, yeah, so you take this pretty cool. And so is stretch. I think I use stretch for the one that I'm doing right now. And you can see it kind of creates this like, crazy, like, shattering, kind of like... <laughs> okay, and really the last step is to set up your camera wherever you want it. Um, I typically make the perspective very small. I'm just playing around with these kind of, kinds of things. There's really nothing... Um, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. Okay, so now that I've shown you guys how I made those, this was the one that was going to render out, where is it, this one? Um, again, I made it with the exact same thing, it's just slightly different numbers. Let's just get into the shading. Again, shading is really simple, I just want it to be metallic. So, obviously, turn up the metallic, turn down the roughness to some extent. Let's go to round. Do a new environment texture. So I'm just going to use a HDRI now because their lighting is typically just gives it a bit more oomph to the lighting, really. Make sure you are using scene lights and scene world. And down here, where is it? Here, here. Make sure you click transparent so the background is not rendered. Hold on, let me just try that right now. Actually. Yeah, 
I think this can be done in easy as well, guys. Like, I'm in cycles, but pretty sure this is exactly the same. Um, again, if you want render quality, uh, if you want cycles quality, then go for cycles. But for me, I'm not fussy. And you see, even just with this HDRI, it's like lights up the, the scene really nicely. Like there's, it looks like there's plenty of shadows and highlights but just to give it a bit extra i'm just going to add like an area light maybe oh yeah if you are using uv make sure you tickle these maybe i don't Is complicated at all um because there's no need for it to be complicated but yeah you can see that you can see that you get pretty good results just with minimal effort in my opinion like i've made things in render that take so much longer than this and <laughs> end up looking like crap so i'm pretty happy with how this looks let's try it out in render Mm, yeah, this looks dope. Yeah, okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put this up like 300, and I'm going to render a few of them, and then I'm going to show you guys how you make the art in Photoshop or your preferred software. Okay guys, I'm so sorry, but my phone stopped recording, so I'm just doing a little voiceover right now. So for this Photoshop part, what you first need to do is create some sort of fog background. And this is really easily done. You just use um, a soft brush, um, get a dark colour. I went for this kind of purpley colour, but it kind of doesn't matter because at the end of it, I end up colouring everything with um, like a gradient map and adjusting like the blend modes. But essentially that's all it is. Create some fog, layer it, add in your 3D assets, um, start playing around with them, erase some parts, don't erase some parts, layer them on top of each other, play with the blending modes, play with blurs, and genuinely that's it. Um, it's quite mindless, which is why I really like this art because it's so easy to do and I think the result is kind of effective every single time. Um, and yeah, this is only my second time ever making this, so if I can do it then you definitely can too.